back at the local smoothie shop. It's my Vitamix. Bobbleheads. bobbleheads. Fiddleheads. My Vitamix is on its way. I've received confirmation that the thing has shipped. We are waiting and Dean's actually asking the girls for the recipe for the smoothie because we want to make them at home too. They're re like really good. It's about 10 to 3. We're on our way to Winners because I want to see if I can get myself a little top and a blazer or something. Tomorrow I'm headed to Toronto. I'm headed to YouTube Space. Yes, please. And then it's like this, you know, creator event for two hours. And then right after there's a happy hour, sort of a, an opportunity to network with other creators. Um, so I'm really excited, I'm but I just really want to have a nice you. top. I don't know. You know, really you know how I roll. What? I like to have something kind of refreshed. You know, you feel good, like a power top. <laughs> I don't know what that is. I'll share it with you guys when I get there. So that's what's up. And then I got to like paint my nails and wash my hair and do all the things that I need to do and then spend basically the whole day in Toronto tomorrow so you guys are gonna come with me it should be fun so I just tried on this shirt it has this cute little button down the back and then I pair it with this blazer and I think it's quite nice so here it is all paired together both blue a little bit of pink and I'm gonna wear it with black skinny jeans um, with these shorts and you know just casual there's also this which is like this lace top with a little tank and a denim blazer. Definitely. Are you, are you guys five guys more casual. Look at my Cute. I forgot to show you what I ended up buying at Winners. Um, Dean and Jack ended up coming in the store, which was great, because sometimes you just need to like run something past another person, am I right? So I went with this kind of acid wash denim jacket and it has some nice stretch to it, very comfortable. And on the inside, I've got this lace little tank. And it's, um, it is a tank, but of course it's completely transparent. So then I paired it with a little cream colored cami to match. All right, I'm ready. Here's my little outfit and my dirty mirror. Okay, I'm ready to go. Of course, I'm seriously cutting it for time. One of these days I'll be like really early for things and that'll be amazing. So I just made it downtown and how cute is this little spot on the beach? It's so sweet, I think it's called Canada's Sugar Beach, which is kind of neat. And there's like beach chairs and sand, and I think I'm gonna come sit here. Yeah, it's just nice to be downtown, I tell you. I've got about an hour and a half, and I'm gonna go grab a bite to eat before I head over to the YouTube space. So I'm gonna go do that. Having a burger from a place called Be Good, and it's all about fast food, but like made like good food, so it's not bad food. Anyways, there we are right downtown. It's so fun to be back downtown. Like, did, it, did you guys know I used to live in Toronto? Um, so I would have been 19 when I moved. And I lived here for almost two years. Years. I met Dean in Toronto. I was a cheerleader with the Argonauts. I was a flight attendant. I kind of did a lot of weird stuff. Worked in a liquor store. I also, what else did I do? Did a lot of tanning salon. <laughs> you name it, I kind of did it. So anyways, kind of fun to be back. But it's, I feel like a fish out of water without my kids. Like, I'm always like, am I forgetting something? It's kind of a weird thing. What a classic Toronto site. Pretty streetcar, pretty tall buildings, sun shining, gorgeous. It's so nice when cities are planned out well. Like, look at that nice little park right in the middle of town. So nice. I have no idea where I'm actually going, so hopefully I'll find this place. There's a classic site, CN Tower. Woohoo! Gosh, what a pretty day to be downtown. All right, so here's the college, and I believe we're just around the corner. Oh yeah, YouTube space. YouTube Space Toronto, around the corner. Okay, here we go. Looks a little sketch. I'm seeing other people, so I'm just gonna follow them. So it definitely looks a lot like a school. School of Design, it says over there. Eager Beaver apparently got in the line first, so I'd be alone. Got my name, got my channel. Let's do it. To jazz club, comedy club, concert venue, in the back room of like the horseshoe. Or you can, when you book it, just write it in creative brief. It's like, we're here, obviously. I'm on the big screen! What's happening here? I do know Mama Cat TV. Yes. <laughs> you probably don't know that. So Cat 
tweeted me and she was like, do you know Tina because you live in Canada so you must be neighbors? What? Is that who? That's who it was? No, I had no idea. And it's funny because she tweeted us after saying that we're her favorite Canadian. Yes! I was flattered. Yes. Even though she immediately said she doesn't know any other Canadians still. <laughs> she's so cute. She's yeah. like, okay, she goes, if it was snowing in Tina's city and it's snowing in your <laughs> city, then you must be friends. So yeah. anyways, it's very cool to meet up. Yeah. Look where we are. We're in the YouTube space. Yay! So we're talking about doing collaborations. So if you guys have an idea, you should let us know below. Yes. Uh, we're open to it. Yes. Anything mom. Anything mom. Like yes. Yeah. Great night, met a bunch of cool Canadian creators, and I'm officially on my way home, so it was so nice. It was actually a really good opportunity for me to meet with Tina, like her and I had planned to meet up in advance, so we could meet child-free, because she has three kids and I have two, and we were like, oh, to get together for the first time to meet with our, all of our kids, like we're never going to get a chance to speak, so that was really cool. And we have some plans to film some stuff, so that'll be even more fun. Um, but let me tell you, walking downtown Toronto by myself at night, when I haven't done that in a long time, um, I walk like there's a fire under my ass. <laughs> I was like, oh, <laughs> little suburban girl here getting all chickened out. And then I parked in underground parking. I'm like, gulp, gulp, oh. Fish out of water, I tell you. Oh yeah, look what's arrived. I will be opening that the second I get home. We're just out, I just got my teeth cleaned. Ta-da. And we are off to go get a few things. Dean needs a few things. And a little pool for the kids. And then we'll be back. And then I'm going to open that. Okay. We stopped at Starbucks. Haven't done that in a while. I find my go-to coffee place is McDonald's lately. I like the price. I like the free coffee after every tin of coffees or whatever. Um, Mama anyways. Doesn't like the, Mama doesn't like the, the, cof, um, the coffee no, at, um, where I got my drink. At Starbucks? Yeah. No, I do. I don't like the coffee at Tim Hortons. Right. <laughs> exactly. See, she knows. A good morning. This is about to go down. The refurbished Vitamix, and I have my little book. I was like figuring out how to use it. I got a breakfast smoothie on the go here, and uh, we're gonna give this a try. So let's see how she goes. Wow. Wow. You know what they say? It's a damn good blender. Like that thing is not loud. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Oh, that's going to be nice. The kids are going to love it. I'm excited. It feels like a bomb has exploded in my home and I don't even know where to start. <sighs> this is the trouble when I have, you know, I had a couple appointments this week, so the kids were taken care of and everything is sorted, but ain't nothing like when mom is home and cleaning as she goes because <laughs> it's just everywhere. <sighs> Poor Jack. <sighs> Sometimes. I'm sitting there with Esme, we're just cuddling, looking at old YouTube videos, would you believe, when she was just a little baby, and um, he comes in to visit, stumbles, face smash right on the side of the bed, like full on. <sighs> he's got like a huge lip, he's just asleep, he's got like blood all over his face. It's kind of horrific and also kind of comical, because you're just like, how in the hell? But yesterday he felt and cut his lip, so today when he felt, it just like reopened that issue. And then his nose is bleeding a bit, Motherhood. Not for the faint-hearted, I tell ya. Poor kid. Get his face smashed on his sister's bed. Oh. Ouch. All right, I'm gonna make some dinner, despite my massive headache. Tortellini spinach, it's delicious, it's creamy, it's lovely. I've made this a few times now, and it is pinned on my Pinterest, so you can find it there. But um, do you ever hear me complain about not feeling good? I complain that I'm tired, don't get me wrong. I actually have like a real headache and you know what it's from um, I have very like not TMJ but my jaw aches like basically after I go to the dentist like I find I'm just in so much pain like my neck hurt afterwards and it's just the pressure of having somebody like push on my teeth and have my mouth open like that for such a long time um, it really hurts so I get like a bad headache and aren't I a dainty flower so yeah might have taken me all day but the kitchen is clean, and my baby, I mean the cookie, my new baby lives on the counter now. Love it, oh my god. But yeah, I'm just gonna have a coffee. And I just realized, or maybe I realized before, I've been in a fog today. This is my first coffee of the day, and I drink so much coffee that I'm thinking that maybe my headache is not only just my jaw, but it could be a little bit of nicotine, not nicotine, caffeine withdrawal. What do you think? Maybe. Today's smoothie is, it's I'm trying to replicate that peanut cup 
that I got from uh, Fiddleheads. So basically what we use is this Almond Breeze chocolate, a scoop of peanut butter. I prefer to get some of that natural peanut butter, but this'll do. We have some organic hemp protein, uh, this Mexican hot cocoa, and a touch of, well, ice cubes and a touch of sea salt. All right, let's give it a go. All my fellow makeup junkies, this is my fresh face. This is like my go-to look lately and I've been using a ton of Tarte products. The makeup is such beautiful quality and I feel like a little goes a long way. So I'm hoping to do like a get ready with me kind of sit down. I mean, I'm no makeup artist, but I just feel like for basic makeup, I kind of got that in the bag. But I've got to share with you this makeup because it's like, when I bought one of the palettes, like the eyeshadow palettes, I was thinking to myself, do I really need more eyeshadow? And hot damn, am I ever glad I bought it because I just feel like it's so pretty. The colors are just so nice. So anyways, more to come on that. Sometimes I love my husband. And then sometimes I really love my husband. Like he made this tonight and this is so good. Chicken and it just, my whole house smells like rosemary and there's lemons and squash and beets and oh hot damn, it's so good. Ugh. I know that there's like this whole thing like, ladies, you should learn how to cook to like, feed your man and love your man, but I also think the reverse is true. Like, I think everybody should know how to cook because there's nothing quite as delightful as another person cooking you a meal. Like, you know they say the way to a man's heart is through his stomach. Shut that. The way to anybody's heart is through their stomach. The way to my heart is through my stomach. And I just think being able to cook and experiment and try beautiful things with food is a talent and everybody should hone in on that. You feel me? Today we are going on a little hike down a trail, so this should be really fun. And it's probably the first hot, hot, nice day. So the kids are out, but it's always this thing, you know, when you've got little kids, you're like, what do I bring? So we were originally, I had the little wagon, but then you're lugging this wagon down a trail and nobody's in it, so screw it. I've got my Ergo. Um, Jack right now is sitting on daddy's shoulders. Anyways, we're gonna just try this hike. Of course, the kids don't last very long, but just look how beautiful it is. Isn't this nice? Ah, oh, this is what I live for. For those of you who've been watching my vlogs for a while, you know, this is, this is what life is all about right here. I love being in nature. Wow, look at that, an abandoned car. Wow, let's go look at this abandoned car. Isn't that weird? Jack, don't, don't laugh at your sister. What's in there? That is so neat. All right, let's go find our family. Come on. Okay, let's go. Where's Dada? It's way up there. Is it okay? Ready? Here's a good one. Here's a good one. Ready? Mama had a baby and her head popped off. <laughs> so today's smoothie is a spiced peach. It's actually really good. I was missing the banana, so I think if I had the banana, it'd be like thicker. But it's peaches, turmeric, cinnamon, coconut oil, coconut milk, a little bit of water, mostly water because my coconut milk wasn't like thin. Um, and actually, it's really good. Well, today we are at African Lion Safari and the water park is open. There's these slides that go right down here. She's somewhere over there. She's basically loving life right now. Met up with a friend and her two kids, kind of the same age. Um, and it's just nice to actually come as a team because you can sit with one and you know that the other one's kind of being monitored, so it's lovely. But it's beautiful today, oh my God. We went with a season's pass and hot damn am I thrilled because you definitely get your bang for your buck. What do you think, mister? I did. A boom. A boat! Hi friends! It's not man-made, however the eye... You gonna see some monkeys? Sorry, I gotta hold you so you don't fall. You're back. Today we will see a variety of primates and birds from around the world. doesn't want me to hold him. Okay. The wild Canadian geese. <laughs> Whoa, you're falling! Of course, now it's ice cream time with the troops. Very excited. Holy, how does it taste? No. Oh, honey, Mama Zebra, I feel you. You got things to do, you're trying to cross the road, but you know what, your little baby nursling does not understand. I feel you, girl, I feel you, baby. Just got home from African Lion Safari, and I'm gonna have a smoothie. Because it's 3.30 and I'm hungry, but I don't wanna have a meal because of dinner, so 
but um, yeah. right, we got some first degree ginger, some lemon, some yogurt, turmeric, and lemon juice. I added a little bit more water and some ice cubes, and we'll see how this goes. Oh, that's good. It's got kick with the ginger and the lemon and the turmeric, but smoothie and silky from the vanilla yogurt. Here we are at the end of the week. I'm just about to sit down with some coffee. Esme is playing in the backyard. It's been a beautiful summer day. This is what life's about. I'm feeling really good. So I hope your week is wrapping up on a good note because we like to flip over on Wednesdays here. So if you're new, be sure to subscribe and, you know, as always, keep it real. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.